What up guys, hey we're looking at Monocle Man, but anyways, let's take a closer look at this box. Starting off at the top of the box, you get the Avengers logo. For the top left corner, you have Marvel Legends series. For the top right corner, you get Build A Figure Puff Outer. For the front of the box, you get Monocle Man, then you get the Monocle Man figure. Behind the figure, you get this cool artwork of Monocle Man, and you have Marvel Avengers. For the right side of the box, you get this cool artwork of Monocle Man. Then you have Marvel Legends series. For the left side of the box, you get a picture of Puff Adder. For number one is Monocle Man. Number two, Baron Von Schreiker. For number three, Yelena Beliva. Beliva, I think that's how you say it. For number four, Marvel's Wonder Man. For number five, Marvel's Orb. For number six, Ultimate Captain America. For the back of the box, you get another picture of the Monocle Man figure. Then you get his accessories. And he comes with Puff Adder's right leg. For the top right corner, you have Monocle Man. Then for the top left corner, you have Marvel Legends series. But now let's crack this thing open. For Monocle Man's accessories, he comes with an alternate set of fisted hands. Then he comes with these things. I don't know the exact name for these, but I love how the translucent purple looks on them. We have seen these so many times in the past. But anyways, let's take a closer look at Monocle Man. Here is Monocle Man outside of the box, but now let's start talking about this figure. Starting off with the head sculpt, the eyes look realistic. I like how these scars turned it out at the forehead area. You get like this wrinkle in between these scars. He has some more scars under the eyes. I wish the red on the scars under the eyes were as dark as the scars on the forehead area. Going to his hair. Looks like he got a bad haircut from his barber. Going to his suit. I love how the purple looks on this figure and i forget what the zack word would be called for this but like you get this lightning line on the front of it going to the belt like we saw on this thing you get these same lightning lines on the belt going to the arms they are pinless but they are reused from the red skull figure there's a lot of wrinkles on the arm. There's some wrinkles at the stomach area and side area or rib area. And I like how they added a split on this so his legs can go all the way out. Going to the legs, there's some more wrinkles on them. Going to the boots, you get some more wrinkles at the like ankle area. For the bottom of his feet, he does have pig holes, and that is it for looking at Monocle Man. For Monocle Man's articulation, he looks that far up, looks that far down. He has a decent amount of head tilt. His head does a 360. The shoulder joint on my figure is stiff, so they won't be able to go all the way out. On my figure, they go that far out. They do go further out but the shoulder joint is stiff on my figure he has bicep swivel the hands go that far out they go that far in he has swivel on the hands for the elbows they are double jointed for the ab crunch it goes that far forward goes that far back he has waist swivel for the legs. He can do that far of a split. He kicks that far forward, kicks that far back. He has thigh swivel. He has double jointed knees. If I can get it to go all the way. Double jointed knee. He has boot swivel. For the feet, they can go that far down. They can go that far up. He has feet swivel. And that is it for Monocle Man's articulation. 
And here is Monocle Man next to the other figures that I have reviewed out of this wave so far. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this review today. I appreciate it if you guys hit the big red thumbs up button. Comment down below what figures you guys would want me to review next. And comment down below, what do you guys think about this Monocle Man figure? Do you guys think it is a good figure? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But stay tuned for the next review.